Hello, I'm Joshua Moore, and I'm at City Lights Bookstore in San Francisco, and I'll be reading a passage from Clockwork Orange by our good friend Anthony Burgess. Uh, this book was originally challenged because it contained objectionable language, uh, and actually a bookseller in 1973 was arrested for having the gall to sell this crazy book. And I actually find to reading this book challenging because I want to suddenly talk in a British accent because of Kubrick's film, but I'll do my best to resist that temptation as I'm reading from it today. Where I was wheeled to brothers was like no sinny I had ever vidied before. True enough, one wall was all covered with silver screen, and direct opposite was a wall with square holes in for the projector to project through. And there were stereo speakers stuck all over the mesto. But against the right hand, one of the other walls was a bank of all like little meters. And in the middle of the floor facing the screen was like a dentist chair with all lengths of wire running from it. And I had to like crawl from the wheelchair to this, being given some help by another like male nurse Beck in a white coat. Then I noticed that underneath the projection holes was like all frosted glass, and I thought I vidied shadows of like people moving behind it, and I thought I slushied somebody cough, causal, causal, causal. But then all I could notice like was how weak I seemed to be. And I put that down to changing over from prison Pisha to this new right rich Pisha and the vitamins injected into me. Right, said the wheelchair wheeling Vec, now I'll leave you. The show will commence as soon as Dr. Brodsky arrives. I hope you enjoy it. To be truthful, brothers, I did not really feel that I wanted to vidy any film show this afternoon. I was just not in the mood. I would have liked much better to have a nice, quiet spotchka on the bed, nice and quiet, and all on my adi naki. I felt very limp. What happened now was that one white-coated Vec strapped my Gulliver to like a headrest singing to himself all the time some Vani Kali pop song. What's this for? I said. And this Vec replied, interrupting his like song an instant, that it was to keep my Gulliver still and make me look at the screen. But I want to look at the screen, I said. I've been brought here to Vidi Films and Vidi Films I shall. And then the other white coat Vec, there were three altogether, one of them a Devotchka, who was like sitting at the bank of meters and twiddling with knobs, had a bit of a smack at that. Then he said, you never know, oh, you never know, trust us, friend, it's better this way. And then I found they were strapping my rookers to the chair arms, and my nogas were like stuck to a footrest. It seemed a bit bazoomy to me, but I let them get on with what they wanted to get on with. If I was to be a free, young Malchik again in a fortnight's time, I would put up with much in the meantime, oh my brothers. One vench I did not like, though, was when they put, like, clips on the skin of my forehead so that my top glass lids were pulled up and up and up, and I could not shut my glassies no matter how I tried. I tried to smack and said, this must be a real horror show film if you're so keen on my videoing it. And one of the white coat vex said, horror show is right, friend. It's going to be a real show of horrors. Thanks very much.